Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Chloe Fern and today we are going to be checking out the new subscription from Wolf in Time which is the Artist Den. So I'm very excited about that and then we're also going to be unboxing the Wolf in Time box and then a couple of items from the Luna Lux. So I actually did get the full box this time but um Kat did send me some of the things that she had like left over for it so I'm really excited to see and I just love all of her work all of her energy and vibes it is just amazing so ah oh, yes I know Susie so yes we were just talking about in the live chat thank you so much for joining me early I'm gonna try to be there early from now on and we can kind of chat before and um but yeah we were just talking about how this weekend I spent well actually my husband read about like seven hours straight of Harry Potter we've been watching or um reading all the series again and y'all there's so much that I don't remember from when I was little and I read that those books so check it out if you haven't recently but yeah so let's get into this amazing artist den so this is the first month i believe that she has been doing um or that she started the subscription it kind of took a place of the luna box which is her was her middle her middle box and now she has that on her site um but now she so now she has the artist den the luna lux and then the bone and steel box which is kind of like the men's um pagan subscription box which is really really cool at least it's more like masculine and um yeah, just kind of like masculine vibes in it, which is super juicy. But, oh, nice, Susie. Hello again, Hickory B. Thank you guys for joining me. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm very, very excited. So it came in this beautiful little envelope. Let's see what she has to offer. I absolutely, like, everybody loves her artwork so much. So I'm so glad she decided to make this subscription. Um, and I'm pretty sure she'll have how much it is because I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm scared to rip anything. So let's check this out. I believe it's like $18 a month or something like that. So happy Monday, Michelle. Hello, hello. So let's open the, oh my gosh, all my rings are getting caught. So let's open the pamphlet. Where's the pamphlet? Is there a pamphlet in here? I'm gonna pull everything out and then we're just gonna kind of go through it because I just don't wanna mess anything up. Okay, so here's our little stack of goodies. And so it says, Taylor, thank you for reviewing, reviewing the Artist Den Kit. There are, there are always three five by sevens and a bonus item for your journal. This month, the theme is Healing Roots and we focus on earth, nature, trees, and family. I'm like so excited about that theme, y'all. Five, uh, three to five items, eighteen fifty per month or less if you prepay, which is really cool because she does have, I'm pretty sure she still has the things where she, if you pay like three months in advance, you get a big discount or like six months, I think even 12 months. So definitely worth looking into. Um, and then my discount code for all of her boxes is bumpy15 for 15% 15 off. So awesome. And then love cat. So y'all look how it just adorbs her like this butterfly oh y'all know I love when there's like contrasting colors and like the orange of this butterfly contrasts and pops so beautifully against those green leaves I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this in my grimoire because I love it so much okay just love the vibes hello Hannah yes oh you bought the wolf in time for lot for next month that's so awesome I know I'm obsessed so did you get the artist den this month Hannah let me know so, like I said, April's theme, Haley Roots. So, I'm going to put this aside because it's our little pamphlet, little mini pamphlet. So, she gives us a little piece of paper that says, plant this in your garden, keep it moist, and watch it grow. So, it's more of her seeded paper. And you can write such so many cool things on here. Like, if you were to write your intentions on here, or even like a little spell, or really whatever you want, whatever your heart desires. And then you plant it and just watch it grow and blossom um, as kind of like a lot of symbolism in that. And I think it's so beautiful. She usually does her pamphlets and everything in this as well. So love that about her stuff. And then we have a little collection of gorgeous stickers. I love these clear stickers so much because when you put them in your grimoire, um, it looks like almost like you have like a pressed herbs in there and it's so pretty. So absolutely 
gorgeous. We have, I'm not sure what these are. Oh, and these actually even have little bits of what looks like tape on them. So it actually looks like they're like pressing your grimoire. Oh, I love it. So pretty. And we have some cute little, I think these are just like pieces of paper for your oh, big mushrooms, little tags for your junk journaling. And write your goodies on. So love, love, love these vibes. Ooh. So, and this looks like it might be like a sticker or something too. But very cool. Little items, little botanical items for your stuff, for your grimoire book of shadows. Love it. And ooh, we have a little journaling page. I love this. So healing roots, family. And then it says, when you think of family, who comes to mind and why? Um, and that says blood or friends. Our family is who, is who we choose, who we choose. I believe that's what this is. So what would you like to heal from your ancestor tree? How do you want to start the process and how do you want to have closure with it? And what can you do regularly to be grateful for your family? So I love this so much. Oh, it even says on the bottom ancestor work, make an ancestor altar, add items for your culture, your family values, photos, mementos, and crystals and anything else that connects you to them. So super cute little journaling card. Love that. It's super easy to keep in your another journal or in a book. You can even make a book for, me, for these, which I'm sure she will have similar um, pages like this in the future too. So if you want to keep all those together, that's awesome. Next, oops, I threw a little clippy. Oh, we have some gorgeous artwork. Oh my gosh. So, oh, for like, we have our horned, a horned man and a gorgeous white wolf. Look at that. So Kat is an amazing artist and she also has a YouTube, The Luna Loft. If you wanna go check her out, she does a lot of her paintings and rituals and everything on there. So stunning artwork. I love how just like deep and mysterious and unknown it feels for sure. Love that. We have the Elder Tree. The name Elder means fire in Angela Saxon. Use medicinal, magical, and topical syrup, drinks, tinctures, ritual, ink. Oh, so cool, etc. Call the Elder Mother and is very sacred. Used by ancient Celts, Angela Saxon, uh, Vikings, and Egyptians. Dwelling place of elves and fae. You know, that speaks to me. Elements, moon, Saturn, and water. Use Elder and magic for transition, protection, travel to the underworld, spiritual realms, and to achieve higher consciousness. This is actually one of the things that I use in my fake tea, so which will be I've been drinking like every single day. And elder is also amazing for immunity and different things like that. So it's definitely um, in my home a lot. I am a holistic mama. So we have a beautiful page, like a, kind of like a scrapbooking page here. Beautiful vibes in that. Look at that gorgeous. It's almost like it either reminds me of like snow, like almost like the trees like emerging or starting to come out and leaf out again after like a snow or even maybe by like a lake or something with those blue vibes. And lastly, we have our artwork here. Oh, just, just kidding. This is actually just the card. So this is the artwork that we had. So beautiful. So a nice little box for your journaling and everything. Very excited. I'm glad she actually put this in here too because since she did put it in the envelope, we don't want it to bend or anything like that. So this is really, really cool. I'm excited to have another kit like this for your grimoire or your junk journal, um, witchy junk journal. So awesome little collection. And I can't remember, did she say in here how much this box was? I believe it was, um, where did I put that card? Yes, 1850 per month for this box. So like a great, great uh, price if you wanna do like a little journaling box and with some extra items um, and like stickers and stuff. So super, super cute. And let's see, she has a little bit on the pamphlet here. So original artwork, artwork of Kernunos, which is my main man, like I've said before. Kernunos is a Celtic god, hunter and stag. His horns reach the sun, to the sun of life, to the sun and life. He lives in harmony with nature, guides, and protects you, and is lord of the dance. He represents death and rebirth of the cycle of life. It is a god of fertility and the way of the shaman. So amazing. Colors, green, black, gold, and silver. Animals, bulls, dogs, rats, serpent, buck, and crow. Crystals are peridot, um, amber, jet, petrified wood. 
incense, cinnamon, musk, rosemary, pine, sandalwood, bounty, acorns, oak leaves, mistletoe, fruit, grain, ivy, and then the planet is Mercury and the sun. So we have all that. And then for the artwork for Canuno, so that's really, really cool that she put all of his correspondences in there. And then um, we had our elder tree, one more page, our family root work, ugh, family roots worksheet journal page and the bonus sticker and tag bundle of nature so and then next month's theme is may for may is it may next month already holy my goodness so crafting cuisine kitchen magic and adding spice to life that's going to be amazing because i have definitely been trying to get more into kitchen magic and just imbue more of my like cooking and everything with with magic because it is great to be intentional about all you do so I'm going to set this aside and then we are going to get into the Wolf and Sun box. So very excited. Again, I just like love this theme so much. <sighs> I wonder if she would do a, do like a painting of Pan. Ooh, we'll have to let her know that, Hannah. I just watched your last video. <gasps> yes, Flying Monkey Toads. Hi, I'm sorry. Sorry if you um didn't make it to that. I was kind of looking for you in there, but I didn't see you, so... I was hoping, hoping I gave you to, enough of a heads up. But yes, that, your box was absolutely amazing. Loved it so much. <laughs> All right. So let's see what's in here. Oh, another amazing. Look how beautiful, guys. Like, for real. All right. So, Taylor, thank you for reviewing the Wolf and Time box this month. Theme, this month's theme is healing roots. We focus on the earth, nature, family, tr or trees and family. So this box is five items, $28 per month, and then less if you prepay. And then, of course, Bumblebee will be 15 for the discount code. And definitely go to her website. I'm not sure if she even sells on um, or has her boxes available on CreateJoy anymore. I know that there's kind of like a lot of, um, a lot of, fees and stuff that come out of that. So definitely go to her website if you can, just so she is able to get all, um, or at least most of the profit instead of so much being taken away from Crate Joy. Just, just better to be able to support in that way. So we have our beautiful card, Wolf and Time card. I love it so much. And I love the finish on this. Like every time I feel it, it's just so luscious and soft. So all of her info on there. And then I will also have all of our info down below as well. So awesome. Beautiful. Aww. Such a cute sticker this month for Earth Day. I love my Earth. So cute. So we already know what the theme is. So I'm not even sure why I'm opening this. Besides, it's just amazing feeling. Um, but yeah, we'll read more about this later. Super cute. Little Earth sticker. And wrapping paper. Alrighty, let's see what we have. Thank you. Go on. Okay, so absolutely beautiful artwork as usual. Hey Thea, go upstairs right now, please. Go on. Don't don't knock on my door. Don't knock on my door. So beautiful, beautiful owl here sorry my daughter has my mind all frazzled now <laughs> and then this gorgeous weeping willow in the background oh i love her artwork so much it's so beautiful and magical it's like that owl taking flight into the night beautiful we have our amazing little featured herb willow very cool so love how we have our willow in our artwork and then willow in here as well so it gives us a bunch of information on that, which is amazing. And actually get, she says all the medicinal use as well as the magical use, which I really appreciate because being a holistic healer in my own family, I really like to focus on um, <clears throat> the medicinal uses for things as well. So that's really nice to have, have that instead of having to look it up. We have some nice little wormies in here, which I love. I love like this natural material. Um, let's see. So we have, I just got to peek at what this is, this baggie. Oh, oh my gosh. This reminds me of my grandmother. So I love that this is like healing roots, like um, kind of more connected to ancestral work because my grandmother, she was a Buddhist. So she always had 
prayer beads and this totally reminds me of her oh and they're actually stretchy as well which is really nice because if you want to wrap them around your wrist um which is a great way to wear these you can actually wrap them and get them in tighter but they are like that look how beautiful i love them so much so this is absolutely gorgeous wood too like look at these beads they are wood beads so and they have like this beautiful kind of zebra pattern on them so gorgeous i'm not sure if it's really blurry for you guys but love these vibes and i actually have this is the first time i've ever seen a mala that's stretchy so because usually i struggle like getting it over my hands i don't know if i just have big hands for a girl or what but like i always like that last one it's either too tight or too loose so i love that this is stretchy because it fits perfectly y'all i'm gonna be wearing this for the rest of the video love that apothecary at home company for last next month yeah i've actually heard of that too and it, actually cat has was telling me about that and they have like a lot of cool things nice love it so next we have another little pack it's really cool to see how she how cat is evolving with her company and i know she's like been changing a lot of things around kind of really trying to take the advice and get more insight from our subscribers so that's awesome oh so it looks like we have a glass jar here and it's it, i'm pretty sure it's empty so maybe we're supposed to do a ritual or something with this or create something for ourselves so oh yeah that's why you were saying that hannah so we have apothecary at home and she was telling me that she did a little collabing with them this month so that's so cool this is white willow um white willow bark beautiful salix alba is the scientific name for it so this is super super cool i'm going to actually open it and i love how much herb they give you too that's one thing that i've heard about them where they give you a decent amount of herb actually like a ton of herb in their boxes and stuff so this is super cool Ooh yeah nice herby sachet there not lots of bark and i've never seen herb come in this little pouch as well so beautiful I love it. So I'm gonna set this here. I'm gonna have to make sure I put that tag back on there so I remember what it is. We have our little card in here. So apothecary at home, ready to dive into herbalism, explore new, explore new herbs, make home remedies, and grow your medicinal garden. New projects delivered monthly. Oh yeah, so that is something I haven't gotten them, but I have heard that they do a lot of um, a lot of actual DIY type things with herbal remedies and different things. So that's super super cool. Wolf and Time subscribers get 20% off your first, apo first apothecary at home shipment with coupon code. And I'm not sure if she wants me to share that coupon code. I'll have to have to ask her, but if she is okay with that, then I will definitely pop that down in the description. So check back at the end of this. I just don't want to be going and giving away the, the uh, code for everybody if it was only meant for people who do get her subscription. So we have a little dropper bottle here see I think it might be empty as well super pretty like rosy red and clear gradient bottle oh the vibes of this though I feel like this would make such an amazing like um like oxymel or something just with how juicy it looks like for real it looks like a candy so that is super cool I'm very excited for her that she was able to collab with apothecary at home that's so exciting love that we have Oh, I have this in here as well. So lastly, it looks like, oh, and I think that, that what came in that little baggie was this gorgeous piece of moss agate. Look, you can never have too much moss agate. Like, am I right? And I actually don't have any palm stones of it. So this is beautiful to just either uh, meditate with or you can put it in your bra because no pointy bits are going to stab you. And, oh, look at that just like translucency and beautiful beautifulness of moss aggie I, I love pieces like this where you can really see the depth inside and i forget what it is like the actual inclusions in here but it's just amazing to me how similar to mo actual moss they look it is just so so cool and y'all like look at the back like it even has like a little jersey piece in the back that is so pretty Thank you, cat. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. So it looks like the last item we have in here is a book. 
and Earth is My Dearest is the book name, Inspirations on Nature, Conservation, Sustainability, and Stewardship. That is so beautiful. So, and it looks like she has a little bookmark in here as well. Into the Forest I Go to Lose My Mind and Find My Soul by John Muir and on this gorgeous piece of paper too. So love that she included a bookmark in here. Super cute little book on how to just be a better conservationist and do your part. That is so beautiful. Looks like there's a lot of quotes in here as well. So that's so cool. I love that. I'll have to take the, some of the, those quotes because I'm actually doing like a big gallery wall in my home and I've been looking for some epic quotes. So love this box, super like Earth Day related and I love that about it. And I love the apothecary at home vibes as well. So let's look at the pamphlet and see if it says anything about these glass jars and maybe what we are to do with them. So, let me right here. Okay, it says, so the earth and her nature is what we honor and respect the most. Her trees, the wildlife, her ecosystems, her beauty, her energy. It feeds us in our path daily. In great celebration of Earth and Arbor Day this month, we the theme of this box is healing roots. The great circle of life connects us through the planet, to our families, to the energy in ourselves, and to ourselves. Magic, our magic is from nature's abundant sources, and we bring self-care into our lives, and through that, and through our ancestors. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm like so bad at reading today. But we have Earth is my dearest book, and also came with this gorgeous little sticker. We have the Oh, yes, and I didn't even tell, say the author. I don't think, is the author's name on here? Maybe on the back. So the author of this book is Jackie Corley. So very cool. And I don't even like see, see their name on here. Maybe I'm just being blind, but super cute book. Um, it says this hardcover book is fresh released and is a collection of over 200 inspirational and meaningful quotes about, around conservation and sustainability. So in, it is to inspire you to give you affirmation and to help you connect even deeper to our path of honoring nature as a sacred practice. Our earth is so precious and we will protect her, nurture her, and keep her magical for all time, for our families and for all future generations. Inside is a special bookmark I made for you with one of my favorite quotes. Then we have our willow bark herbal kits from Apothecary at Home. Plant magic is an important part of our rituals and we have collaborated with Shannon at Apothecary at Home to give you an amazing experience in herbalism. Included are the following. We have our rose gradient glass dropper bottle, our amber glass drawer to start, store your herbs. Oh, so that's really cool. So you can just transfer in there. And then pouch of willow bark, recipe cards and property properties for willow bark, anointing oil. Oh, very cool. Is that this? Or did I do maybe this guy? Or maybe that's what this is as well. Oh, yes. So, okay. So in here, it also has all the information for that. Very cool. Um, when you create it, make a ritual and really connect with both the herbs and the energy you use. Herbs can have a huge influence on how we see nature's resources, how we can better serve our family holistically, and how we can heal ourselves in body and soul. To learn more, please visit this woman-owned small business at apothecaryathome.co. So awesome. I will have to put their link down below as well. Next, we have our wooden mala beads. So the wooden mala rep represents Mother Earth and has energy for grounding, stability, reliability, and warmth. It is also a symbol for creativity, liberty, and spirituality while helping you in meditation. Use it to focus your mind and count mantras in a set of repetitions. Each time you touch a bead, say your mantra, go through the whole circle down to the end. The last one represents gratitude and our connection to the divine. If you use it to connect with your ancestors, family members, and those you wish to heal your bonds with by using the mantra and manifesting your your intentions. So that is so beautiful. And I will definitely use this to connect to my grandmother because obviously she is like one of my largest inspirations in my life. And I just love connecting to her in my ancestral work. <clears throat> so next we have our wooden, our wooden, our original artwork, five by seven watercolor prints of our beautiful owl. The willow and the owl is an original watercolor that I created to honor the herb where we are using to honor the herb we are using in this box and to give you the owl shaman power element. The willow represents fertility, new life, spirituality, and psychic ability. It is connected to the moon because of its love for water and is called the tree of enchantment. 
because it can bend and man manipulate just like the just like we bend energy to use magic. In this painting, I made the great horned owl flying under a night sky. The owl can help you in manifestation and having insight bring you better perception, protection, and inner wisdom. Behind behind the owl is the full moon for your abundance and the north star to help guide you. Oh, that is so beautiful. There's a special song I sang, I sang on with B in the Hive called North Star that will give you more meaning to this. It will be on my YouTube video of my painting ritual on the Luna Loft channel so you can connect more with your artwork. B in the Hive is beinthehive.com and it is a local small band that she works with so it's so beautiful. So yes, like I said, with her um, YouTube is down below the Luna Loft and she has that gorgeous music like Every time I hear the music from Bee in the Hive and that she, especially that she has been in, I get crazy chills. It's so powerful. And then lastly, we have our Tumble Premium Moss Agates right here. This beautiful baby. Element, Earth, Chakra, Root, and Heart. Focus, Stability, Grounding, and Focus. Moss Agate is actually chalcedony with dendritic inclusions of moss green and rusty colored minerals. It assists you with bringing peace and stability to to peace and stability to your life which can help you in challenges with your family and past lineage breaks it supports your energy and peace and stability in your life which can help oh i just read that it supports your energy and patience balance and feeling whole use your crystal and meditation to help you connect to mama earth or to ground your soul and to become one with your heritage let it bring you harmony peace and a deeper understanding of your place in the great circle so beautiful and great love and respect to your magical soul cats I love her signature so and then it says to plant your seed of paper and everything which this month it is like super just really really nice and thick it is so beautiful so oh your daughter's name is willow kayla that's so beautiful i love that awesome yes so all right lastly y'all we have the items some of the items from the the luna Lux box so I'm very excited about that. So we'll check that out a little bit. And then we'll see later if I have the time <laughs> to do like a Sugar Muses unboxing or something because I'm not sure if my little ones are going to be getting up. But I'm like so excited about this Moss Agate and all these goodies in here. And about these quotes. Like that's super, super cool. Adorable and such gorgeous earthy vibes. Love it, love it. Alrighty. So, let's see. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, this is the box that all my Luna Lux items came in this month. And, like I said, this isn't all of them, and this isn't like the original. I don't think she sent them in this kind of box, but um, this month she, because she was um, changing up her subscription from the Luna box, I know she had a lot of people um, switch to the Luna Lux. So, there's just like a big shortage there. And I was like totally fine with um her not even sending me one because i know she is like super overloaded which is amazing but i'm super excited to see what is in here and get her artwork <sighs> so she gave me these gorgeous stickers because she's extra <laughs> and i love her so super cute stickers and it looks like i wonder if this is like the willow willow leaf that she had used like super pretty little herbies that are kind of floating around in this box as well so i'm gonna actually save the pamphlet i don't know why i always try to open it ahead of time because i already know what the theme is but we have a beautiful card Ooh, so gorgeous card there i'm not sure what deck this is from but very beautiful like super super powerful like angelic vibes there love it and then we have a oh, whole a tree tree of life this is so pretty and look at these roots it's just like it's floating in the cosmos oh it's so gorgeous i love that so much oh look at this like in the in the hollow of the tree there's like this beautiful beautiful shining light that is so adorable so gorgeous what is this so we have a paper here. So it looks like some info on healing earth ritual. Beautiful. And we have cotton in the earth. Love that. And then we have the 
and some more information. Looks like the moon and the trees and the Celtic tree calendar. Oh, that's super cool. Okay, love that. Oh, I love this packing material. Like, I know that's something so silly to get excited about, but love that. So, oh, she gave us an elderberry syrup recipe. I'm gonna definitely have to look between both of ours and see how they are different. But yeah, and then the elder herb as well. So awesome info on there. Love it. <gasps> oh, look. Oh my God, there's like even more stuff. Okay. So we have this item right here. No idea what it is. I've been like so good at not peeking at anybody's unboxings. And I'm so sorry that this took me forever to get, to get this unboxing out. But like I said, I've just been so sleepy recently and drained. So oh, it's like a super heavy piece in this nice baggie. Gorgeous. Okay. Oh, we have a piece of petrified wood. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. And a nice like thick slab too. Nice and polished. This is absolutely stunning. And I love how you can see like the rings and everything in it. That's so pretty. Oh, I love petrified wood so much. This is super cool too, like to use as a like little plate or something if you wanted to put your crystals or just anything you want to vibe with this energy. That is so, so cool. And like a super chunky piece. I love cat's boxes so much. Okay, next we have, oh my gosh. So we have a piece of, okay, so this is tied together. So I'm assuming that it goes together. And then we have this beautiful, like, little besom with a super cute little, I think this is a clear quartz, either clear or um, rose quartz, but look how adorable that is with the little triquetra. Oh, I love it too, Hannah. Like, huge, chunky piece of wood. And the colors in this is, are so gorgeous too. So we have an awesome piece of driftwood, which is amazing because it gives us those beachy vibes that cat is all about. This is so pretty. Wow, look at this. I could totally make like a cool like um, macrame hanging or something with that. Let's see what she wants us to do with it. Even like a thick chunky wand. Okay. Oh. oh my gosh. So it looks like she does have items in here to create something. So we have some of her like gorgeous furry yarn. I'm pretty sure this is faux. Yeah, this is definitely like faux fur um, yarn and some string. We have a beautiful white feather. Oh, I cannot wait to see what we're supposed to create. Some actual wool yarn, which is gorgeous. And then another beautiful feather here and some twine. And then some beads. Oh my goodness. Okay, one of the beads in here looks just like the earth and it is so gorgeous. Check this out. I'm guessing this is Chrysocolla, but look at how beautiful. It totally looks like a little mini earth. It is so cute. And then we have a bunch of different ones here as well. So it looks like maybe we have like a, like it looks like almost like it has some red in it, but I'm not sure. So like a little bead, like darker bead, almost like garnet or something. We have, I'm not sure what these are. This one looks like some sort of agate. And then we have a pink, green, and blue. Let's see if I can pick them up for you. Pink, it's not gonna show that well. Pink, green, and blue bead. So I'm sure she wants us to make something with this little kit and our piece of wood, which is super, super cool. So let's see in our booklet or in our pamphlet. And then lastly, we have the Celtic tree oracle. So pretty. Oh, and then it shows us some of the cards in there. I love this artwork and how bright and just gorgeous it is. And something I actually just started looking up. I've mentioned it a couple of times in my videos before, but I'm really getting interested in um, Druidism. I've heard it called dru Druidery too, but yeah, so I'm just really, really excited to connect more with trees and really gain more knowledge from them and <clears throat> more about like their sacred meanings and different things like that. So, and 
Yeah, so this is like super in tune with my practice right now. So let's give a give this beautiful deck a look. Oh, I'm like so excited. Especially like as the seasons change and just trees really teach us so much. I actually just took like this little quiz too um, about like what magical creature or whatever my zodiac is connected to. And it was a, um, a, a tree dryad, so super cool. So we have our little page here, our nice little booklets, and let's give these a look. So ooh, we have birch to begin with, gorgeous like Celtic knot on the back as well. Oh, these vibes are so powerful. Alder. Gorgeous. Willow. There's our willow for this month. And I love like the matte feel on these cards too. Ash. So pretty. Oh, there's gonna be so much to learn from this deck. I can already tell. This is super cool. So pretty. Ooh, apple. Look how pretty that is. Like so sweet. All right. I'm not gonna flip through all of them because I want to check out what she has said in the pamphlet, as I'm really curious about the little kit she has given us. A couple of Celtic books got recently that are awesome. Yeah. Yes, please do, Susie. Someone with my petrified wood piece I got in this box. Yes. Oh, makes me so happy. I'm definitely going to have to go look at some of the other unboxings of it, because I'm super excited to see. Oh my gosh. Look at this beautiful golden tree. It almost looks like a tattoo or something. Maybe it's like a sticker. Maybe it looks like one of those. It almost looks like one of those like temporary tattoos. That'd be super cool. Okay. So the trees call to us. They rustle the leaves in whispers and beckon us to touch them. We are connected to them and all that is created on this beautiful earth. To honor them and our planet during the month of Earth and Arbor Day, we have curated this box to help you dive into plant and tree magic. We will also be honoring family, our ancestor roots, and all that binds us together through nature's energy and self-care. So we have our Celtic Tree Oracle Deck and Guidebook. We have the Elderberry Herb Kit from Apothecary at Home. So that oh, that, so that's some, one of the things that I did not receive. So that's really, really cool that Apothecary at Home also put one in here. So very cool. So that one had the recipe card, the syrup glass bottle, elderberries, and the muslin bag for straining. So it's super, super cool. And I love, like, elderberry syrup is one of those things. If you want to um, kind of fight against flu season or, you know, colds and any of that, even allergies it really helps with. Um, and you have little ones that don't want to take any kind of medications, elderberry syrup, like, your kids will be begging for some elderberry syrup. I have, like, this giant container in my, my fridge. We go through it every single year. <laughs> so charm beaded bracelet. So, oh, so cute. So it had a gold or silver tree charm intertwined within its weave. We got the Healing Earth Aura Spray from Wolf and Time, Healing Roots Oil from Wolf and Time. So beautiful. And then I want to see what this what this baby is right here. So Dreams of Gaia Tarot Card, Moon and Trees Grimoire Page, beautiful. Um, Altar Besom Broom. So y'all so cute and chunky like i love how i love how like chunky it is i don't know it's trapped in my yarn i love how chunky it is it's like cute little handle it's so adorable it's like perfect for um sweeping energy energetically sweeping off your altar too and then we have our original artwork from the luna loft so a tree's life is an original artwork painting a watercolor painting i did to honor a's above oh as above so below um, as below, so above. I say this after casting protection circles and taking them down. Oh, that's a really good idea. I believe that with a tree of life and many symbols in our world, we see a reflection. The branches reflect the design of the roots, and in life, there's always a correspondence between the laws and phenomena of the various planes. The tree has veins that dig into the earth, and the heart beats openly in its trunk. Oh, love that. That's what's like that bright, shining bit in the trunk that we saw. It is alive and keeps us alive with its very existence. If you would like to see the YouTube ritual watercolor time lapse video, go to the Luna Loft channel, which is down below, where you will also hear some special music created for it by Be in the Hive called Tree of Life. You can find more of their music at beinthehive.com. So that is super cool. We have our petrified wood slab, 
Millions of year, years old, petrified wood comes from the Greek root petro, which means rock or stone. It happens when a tree turns fossilized to the process of pre-mineralization. It works with the root and third eye chakras and the element of earth. So love that. And we have our shaman ancestor spirit stick DIY kit. Okay, so that's what this is. I have supplied with a kit for making an ancestor or family spirit stick. Oh, so cool. It includes a piece of driftwood I collected and cleaned, a cotton bag, six unique beads, wool yarn, string, faux fur, and a feather and cotton cord. It is a starter kit so that you can add your own personal elements to it from your family. Examples would be hanging photos, oh my gosh, items from family that are meaningful, nature elements, or anything that honors them. You can carve into your six symbols and names or words that connect you to spirit and help you create an offering of gratitude. Hang your items from the stick horizontally and place it up on the wall in a sacred space to call your, to your spirit. When you're done and want to share, take a picture and tag us on Instagram so we can see. I will definitely be doing that above my ancestor altar, so that's super cool. I have mine up on our account as well, and I will definitely be checking hers out as well. That is super awesome. Like I said in the last box, May is Crafting Cuisine. So, uh, woo, I'm so excited for her that she is just really evolving her box and getting it. Like, this girl is getting it. So, if you are interested in the um, Bone and Steel box, definitely check out that link. Maybe I'll put it down below as well, but it's on my channel. It was amazing. That is a quarterly box. So, it's every, like, every three, a quarterly, so every every three months during each of the sabbats i believe it will be oh my gosh hannah thank you so much i love you too <laughs> thank you so much for that super chat you're like that was so special but yeah so yeah go check her out because she's amazing amazing energy in all her boxes and i know all of you love her so much so thank you so much cats for all these goodies let me know what you thought down below about, about these amazing boxes and Oh, like I said, I'm going to be doing the emoji thing at the very end of each video. So if you have been here till the end of this video, leave the, hmm, leave the earth emoji, whichever one you feel like, and down below in the comments. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see maybe hopefully today or um, maybe even having to do, I might even have to start doing like nighttime videos just because my kids have started not taking naps so much. So we will see if I will get to do either a Sugar Muses unboxing tonight or tomorrow. Keep your eye out. Please subscribe to become part of the Honey Coven. I would love to have you if you want to see my crazy self again. And yes, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch up on the chat a little bit because I've been totally ignoring you guys again, I'm trying to get through that. <laughs> but, oh, that's so cool, Hannah. You practiced Buddhism for 11 years. That's amazing. That's so awesome. Yeah, I, I really, it's funny because little story time, when I first got interested into witchcraft, um, I really drew so many connections to it with Buddhism, which I had grown up with with my grandmother. So it was very... It was very interesting for me to see like how connected um, both pagan religions are because really Buddhism is paganism because it's like a na uh, nature based religion. Um, and yeah, it just flowed so beautifully for me. So when I kind of told my mom about becoming a witch and I was like, I, that's one of the ways I explained it is like it's pretty much just like from at least my practice, it's very similar to Buddhism, but we do, you know, involve a lot more like herbal and crystals things that you don't really see as much in buddhism but still like that same just appreciation for life and harmony and different things like that so it really is amazing to see those connections drawn so yeah so yes i know i'm excited to see sugar mazes too and i'm so like behind this month again i feel like that happens every it does happen every single month where i get behind on my boxes but <laughs> yeah it is similar to witchcraft yeah exactly so i really love like pagan religions and just looking at all the different pagan type religions and nature-based religions because even though they're demonized so much in the community or outside of the community like um they're you know people people have heard so many bad things and they've been so demonized that really like pagan when you hear paganism i know a lot of people think of sacrifice but really it's just so much connection with the earth and it's so beautiful like I feel like if more people knew what 
these religions were and what they revolved around like there be the slate would be wiped clean <laughs> so thank you flying monkey totes yes i'm addicted to unboxings too i'm actually right after this if i have a second i'm going to be on or um filming some other videos that I have, which I'm really excited about. And I've also been doing the Beltane video, which is super exciting too. So yes, I think I will leave you guys with that. But thank you so much for watching. And yeah, so I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful week. Enjoy the sunshine and the, the blooming flowers and all the goodness that is coming. So I will talk to you later. Bye.